first I applied one coat of Colorina Mi Principe to all my nails and I let that completely dry. Now I'm going to be applying some liquid latex. This liquid latex I purchased on Amazon, you guys. I'm going to put the link down below because I know a lot of you have been asking me. And all I did was transfer it to a bottle of polish, an old bottle of polish. Actually, this bottle is from Sally Hansen. That's all I did, you guys. Just transferred it. And I cleaned it out with acetone to remove the old polish that was in the bottle. And I just reused it. Okay? Just make sure to look for a bottle that has a tight close to it. Because if it doesn't tightly close, then the liquid latex will dry out. Okay? So you might have to do a little bit experimenting with some bottles that you already own. So now I'm going to let that dry and I'll be back. Now we're going to be doing some marbling with our stamper and we'll be using three colors. We'll be using the same color which is my Mi Principe, Verde Marino, and this one is called Golden Tricks. Those are the three colors I am going to be using for the marbling with the stamper. Remember you guys, you can use any color you want and trust me, it's going to look beautiful underneath any nail stamping design you guys choose. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply two dots of each color. Of the darker green, I'm going to apply a little bit more. I just want hints of the gold and the light mint color. Just little hints of the colors. So what I do is I take my stamper, today I'm going to be using my Magnol stamper, and I just press down and move it a little bit like this. You should have something like this. And then what I do is I take my stamper and just stamp that on. Okay, if I want more color, I just go back and add the colors on my nail until I get the desired effect. So I'm going to do that one more time because I want a little bit more of that gold inside on my nails and of the mint green. So I'm going to apply a little bit more and do it one more time. There you go. And stamp like that. Okay, it's going to look kind of bumpy. Don't worry, that's normal. <laughs> what I do is I apply top coat and that helps smooth everything out and I'm using sesh feet. So I apply a top coat and this really helps a lot. It smooths everything out. That way when you stamp on, your stamping is going to be smooth and beautiful as well. So we're going to let that dry and I'll be back. For the image, I'll be using this beautiful plate by Bunny Nails. It's, it's HDB. We're going to be using this beautiful image right here, which I love. And I purchased this plate just because of this image. <laughs> so that's the image we're going to be using. So we apply the polish. We gently swipe. Stamp. And we're going to slant it, okay? We're just going to slant the image and stamp. And there we go. Now we're going to take off the liquid latex. Okay. There we go. Now I apply my top coat. And we're done. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. Please take care and happy stamping. Bye.